Good morning everybody, hope you're all well and hope you've had a good weekend. Uh, I've been out uh, enjoying too much sunshine without enough sunscreen so uh, sporting a bit of a panda look this morning. But not to worry, uh, today uh, we're going to have a look again at the Edge 11. I, in the last video we added the Celestron off-axis guider and the 174, uh, the SI174 Mini uh, guide scope and this is my existing ASI 2600 colour one-shot camera. So today uh, we're going to add in to the optical train the Celestron 11-inch uh, HD uh, reducer which is 0.7 and this takes the native focal length of the telescope down from uh, 2800 millimeters to 1960 millimeters. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, just free off these things, the caps, I'm ready to go. So the uh, beauty about the uh, 0.7 reducer from Celestron is it's obviously purpose built uh, for this uh, telescope and it uh, fits perfectly with the Celestron off-axis guider and the way they've designed it, it shifts the focal plane from the back end of the adapter nut uh, on the telescope uh, back to uh, the back end of the uh, focal reducer. So we can slide straight in there and take our baseline uh, focal plane uh, reference point again. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to loosen off the rotation screws on the off axis guider and that will allow me to unscrew the whole assembly including the adapter nut that comes with the telescope. the existing uh, adapter plate that comes with the telescope and then this is the SCT adapter that comes with the off-axis guider. So next up we can attach the focus reducer. This goes straight on to the baffle nut of the OTA. screw back on the whole uh, off-axis guider and camera setup onto the focal reducer. screws on the off-axis guider just to put everything back where it should be. And there we go, focal reducer installed. Now this focal reducer does weigh one and a half kilos so it will significantly knock out your balance particularly on the, the declination. Uh, the CGX that I've got uh, does have quite a stiff um, declination gear uh, so without this didn't really matter where the scope was sitting, there wasn't a lot of uh, movement there at all. Uh, it doesn't mean to say it wasn't balanced, uh, or it doesn't mean to say it was balanced, it probably wasn't, but uh, uh, there was no way of really seeing that without measuring the current on the power supply, which I've never got around to trying yet. Uh, so anyway, we've installed the focus reducer, and now we'll have to reassess the balance. And if I flew the screw, 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 slew the telescope over, Make sure it's horizontal and release the declination. You can see immediately, even with the tight gear on the CGX, she starts to swing back 
So to counteract that, I have uh, purchased this Farpoint USA uh, with a Los Mandy uh, clamp and this has two 1.3 kilo uh, counterweights on it that are adjustable in both uh, can be removed and uh, up and down and I can also slide it of course back and forth on the rail. Now the OTA is currently sitting fully forward on the CGX uh, mounting plate. So next if we just attach the counterweight onto here. Let's just lift them up. And we'll just see how that's sitting now. And already you can see just putting it on without any fine tuning, it's quite happy sitting where it is. So without really using a clamp meter and driving it, you wouldn't be able to tell uh, how much your balance is out. Even just using finger pressure, it's, it's difficult to tell if she's balanced or not. So that certainly makes a big difference there. And then if I put that back to the home and loosen off the wrist for the extension, you can see She's get really back heavy now, and we just need to adjust the counterweights at this end. And she's still a little bit heavy, I'll pull the 10 kilo weight down a bit. She's not sitting too bad there. It's very slightly east heavy, maybe not a little bit more. That much. And there we go, she appears to be sitting okay. Very slightly. So a lot of tweaking needed there. But in essence, that's that done. So uh, earlier on, before the gardener turned up, started making a noise in the garden, I had the window open and I had the scope pointing up the hill. So up in the top left, you can see a, a, a house probably about five kilometers away up in the hill. Uh, the top left one is the without the focal reducer and the bottom right one is with the focal reducer. Now I did have to adjust the focus uh, with the Celestron focus motor that I've got. I had to shift uh, the focus about 8,000 uh, points uh, to bring it back in, into focus again. Yes, the image is maybe not the sharpest it could be, but uh, it's 28 degrees outside and even though it's 11 o'clock in the morning and uh, there's quite a bit of heat haze uh, coming off uh, all the ground everywhere. So I think, I think that's about it. The uh, next thing is obviously to uh, get some imaging done. Uh, I've been working on the, uh, the dome over the weekend. Uh, trying to get that finished. So uh, I managed to fix the issues I was having with the shutter where it was uh, stuttering uh, and starting to skip on its drive chain uh, about a foot open. Uh, so that's been resolved and next up I'm going to be trying to sort out the dome rotation. So this is the drive gear uh, for the dome and it sits on the existing motor and it's mounting its proper mounting place. It sits probably just a little bit too low uh, from where the drive track is, so I 3D printed this uh, uh, drive dog uh, just to pull out, uh, pull up the height just a little bit, get it more central into the uh, the drive train, and uh, we'll see how that goes once I get it uh, installed. So in the meantime, that's it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I do appreciate all the comments, the likes, and uh, of course, uh, if you want to see more of my content and, and keep up to date with what's happening in the, in the world of Dave's astrophotography, then please do subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you very much, and uh, clear skies.